in today's video we are going to look at a few questions on uh, calculating frequency and time base of a cathode ray oscilloscope uh, I think you have some uh, background knowledge on CRO now this is physics uh, AS, AS level we have the first question here that says that uh, this uh, this figure here represents the sound wave producing the CRO and we are told that the time base setting is uh, 0 0.5 milliseconds per centimeter now we have to use figure 1.1 which is this diagram here to determine frequency of the sound wave now we know that uh, frequency we are referring to the number of waves that passes through a certain point per second so we can use the formula frequency equals to 1 over period 1 over period now period we are given the time base setting which is in milliseconds per centimeter but we know that the SI unit of time should be seconds so therefore we have to convert that 0 0.5 milliseconds per centimeter to only have seconds as the unit so we can now write 0 0.5 milliseconds per centimeter and then we have to multiply that remember with period uh, looking at this figure that we have because we are told to use that figure we have to check one complete wave um, in, that, in this diagram if you say let's say from this point up to here it can still be correct but uh, for me it's much easier if I can uh, use this point here and that point from here going like that then I have a complete wave and then our divisions horizontal remember time base it's horizontal that is time base whereas uh, voltage that's when we can out of off vertical now our divisions one division represents one centimeter now coming here the distance from here up to there how many divisions do we have there are three one two three and each division represents one centimeter therefore if we have three of them it means three centimeter why am i doing that so that uh, this centimeter and that centimeter can cancel out and then I now have 0 0.5 milliseconds times 3 which will give me uh, 1.5 milliseconds but yet now I can't use this 1.5 milliseconds to substitute in the place of time because the assignment of time should be seconds only not milliseconds therefore I can still convert that to seconds using the prefixes of the SI units in this case now we can write 1.5 times 10 to the power minus 3 times 10 to the power minus 3 because of milli and then the unit now is seconds so now I can use this to substitute in the formula then I have 1 over 1.5 times 10 the power minus three seconds and then if I can now take a calculator uh, we have one over 1.5 times 10 the power minus three equals two we get this number which is 600 666.66 and then we have a seven there 
uh, keep, keeping in mind that in physics we always round uh, to two significant figures therefore one two then we look at this number here it's more than five therefore it can give one to six and then to become six hundred and seven hertz and that is the SI unit of frequency so basically that's how you can actually calculate the frequency when you are given the time base setting and then you are given a diagram that shows the number of waves not actually the number of waves but yeah then the waves and then you are also given the divisions if you want to watch uh, more other videos on this type of questions i have a few questions here that i'm going to actually answer in the next videos please uh, uh, scroll down or up and then so that, so that you can find other videos and watch and if you did not subscribe if you are a new member please do so uh, I, I upload uh, videos on physics and also math see you in the next video